Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 21 of the Fiorentina Crimo. This is the second video of the day, so if you could show some support and thumbs it up and also go and check out the Herfa Berlin episode that went up earlier. If you haven't already then that would be greatly appreciated, but today we go into the first game of the episode which is against Latu and then later on in today's episode for the final game of the episode which is the next game against PSG is a very big one so definitely stay till the end and watch that it is a fantastic game but nevertheless we do have this game against Lazio a team that I'm not too sure how good they are as I said I don't particularly watch Serie A I don't really watch football too much you know I don't really have time for it a lot of the time I only really watch football when it's on you know either match of the day sometimes when you know the season's on or you know if it's on TV I don't have Sky Sports or BT Sport or anything like that but Lazio unfortunately get themselves a goal straight off the bat which was very frustrating and I was actually tempted before managing Fiorentina to actually manage Lazio so hopefully this game would prove to me that I picked the right team and Rossi there being our main man in you know pretty much the whole series thus far again proven what an absolutely fantastic player he is for us and scores another goal that brings his tally up to 23 and I think in total that brings his tally up to 34 in all competitions which is absolutely magnificent to think I think we're only in like March right now you know mid mid March ish so he is in some ridiculous form long may that continue hoping to get him at least you know 40 maybe 45 plus goals in all competitions before the end of the season and this game was really tough you know Lazio were playing a decent team they have some okay players in the team people like Felipe Anderson people like Kandreva all very good players and definitely had to be wary of that and my defending by the way was just awful this was recorded like literally 20 minutes ago I finished recording this you know all this gameplay and stuff and then I've just edited edited it together maybe a bit more than that maybe like yeah, about, but, you know, about half an hour ago I finished, you know, recording this and it was just great. We got a goal there, Gar Guarin, Garin, Guarin, sorry. Again, another lovely left-footed strike from Freddy Guarin. May not be the highest rated player in terms of overall, but definitely does the job for us, which is all, all that matters. I actually made an editing error there by cutting it a little bit too early. Apologies for that, but... We will continue. We do get the win, which is fantastic. Freddie Guarin's goal in the later stages of the game, proving the you know the significant the significant point in the game. Just before you know nine minutes to go, he manages to pick himself up a goal. We do go at home, and we have PSG who travel over to Italy to face us in the Euro League, which is really frustrating. I was hoping because we are in the Europa League that we wouldn't get PSG and. You know, we had PSG and Arsenal being the two massive teams that were left, and we got, but we, you know, we got one or the other, and we ended up getting PSG, which is, to be honest, although I'm an Arsenal fan, PSG are a lot stronger than we are, so it was a little bit frustrating. But this is a real test for us. Even if we do get knocked out at this stage, I'm not too bothered because the European objective I don't think was to get any further than we are right now. So hopefully we can continue as I can't actually quite remember what the objectives are but this is a real test to show whether or not we can compete with the very best teams in Europe and you know next season we probably will be in you know the Champions League by the looks of it so we get very lucky though at the start I actually couldn't believe my eyes when we got a penalty awarded to us Thiago Silva being a little bit rash you know sometimes defenders do that and Thiago Silva I guess has done it before in the past but nevertheless, Rossi steps up and he scores it very nicely. Very lucky. I've been missing quite a lot of penalties recently. In the Herfa series, I think we had... Or was it? No, it was in this series about three episodes ago. I think we had about three or four penalties in one episode. And I missed, I think, every single one bar one penalty, which was horrific. So my penalty completion rate is not very good. But literally, a minute later in game, they get back in it with Lucas. And I was so, so annoyed. I thought, you know what? Maybe if we can play well and hold on to a 1-0 lead, we can, you know, get somewhere with this. But it wasn't looking very hopeful. And unfortunately, PSG are just such a good team, not only in real life, but also in FIFA. If not harder in FIFA than they are in real life, I don't even think we've ever beaten them. We've played them in the Arsenal career mode, I think, maybe three or four times. And I always got dicks by Zlatan, but today it was Lucas that was giving me the D, and he's already scored a double. Hopefully he doesn't go on to get a hat-trick. And we do go 2-1 down at home. We do come through, though, with Dobaro. We can't quite beat the defence, and Thiago Silva that time not making a tackle, which is just as well, because he probably would have got himself sent off. But, again, Lovetsi there missing a pretty 
easy header, I guess. You know, just had to head it towards the post. We come in with Rossi. We try and turn back, and you know, PSG doing what PSG did do best, really, with some some of the best centre backs, or you know, one of the best defenses in the world. We obviously we could have got Lucas Digne from them, but we decided to go with Kolasinac, and I was hoping that would prove to be a worthy deal. And we tried to be a bit cocky there, turning back in the defender, and it didn't work, and we gave away the ball. We do though come through again. With Giuseppe Rossi, surely he's going to score. He doesn't. I don't know how. Probably should have finessed it around the keeper looking back. But Dybala comes through eventually and puts us back on level terms with Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, we do have a second leg. But because we've already conceded two away goals, the second leg is going to be very difficult. I'm hoping we can do kind of a miracle like we did in the last episode against AC Milan. But I'm not really too sure that it's going to be able to be possible. Nevertheless, though, Pastore comes through. Ebro with a lovely shot. Pastore with the rebound. And, again, a very poor goalkeeping display from Buenawat Costil there. Should really be at least diving for it. You know, a little bit disappointing that he didn't really try too hard to do that. We do come through with Babacar, though. Dybala got an injury and he is out for two weeks. I don't show you the email, so I thought I'd let you know now. He is out for two weeks. And we'll probably be playing... Maybe one striker up front in the name of Rossi, or maybe having two, but I'll be using someone like Hesse up front and playing a 4 3 1 2 like we do in the Herfa series. But nevertheless, we do lose the game 3 2, which is a little bit disappointing. I was expecting to do a little bit better in that game. But PSG are a very strong side, and it kind of proved to us that we are not yet really ready to conquer Europe, and that is completely understandable judging from the team that we do have. And you can see Arsenal there did indeed beat David Moyes, Real Sociedad, but. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have, if we could smash over seven likes, that would be absolutely awesome. That is the league table. If you want to pause and have a look at it, feel free to do so. And if you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. There is a button down below. It is completely free. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode of Career Mode very soon.